What's up guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. So today we are going to be showcasing an Extreme Z Awakening that I would argue is very underrated by some people out there. I mean, is he the best EZA we've ever seen? Of course not. I don't think he's better than Fizz Vegito Blue, uh, Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks, LR Broly, so on and so forth. But does that make him a bad EZA? Is he trash, as some people might say? Absolutely not. I mean, I've actually been very impressed by what I've seen from him so far, and I think he's extremely effective on some of the harder events of the game like Super Battle Road, Extreme Super Battle Road, LGE, stuff like that. And uh, hopefully, with today's video, we can convince some people out there who have some negative opinions about this EZA to reconsider. Okay, so with all that said, let's jump right into it. We've got my rainbowed, fully extreme Z awakened STR Janemba here. He has level 1 links across the board and no skill orbs, so no extra boosts. And the event we're going to do this on is the transformation boost stage of Super Battle Road. Uh, as you can see, he's linked up with the Fizz Frieza, and he's starting off with 99,906 defense, which is not bad, but not super high. But keep in mind, he does guard against all attacks, and he also has a 30% chance to dodge to start, and gets 10% more dodge chance with each attack dodged within the same turn. Okay, so theoretically, he can get up to, I guess, a 100% chance to dodge if he dodges seven attacks, but that's never gonna happen, but it's it's technically possible, right? So uh, here we go, first turn, let's attack, um, I guess it really doesn't matter. Let's go for Piccolo, and hopefully we can get a few dodges as well, since there are a lot of attacks in that first slot. I think there's at least five or six. So here we go, there's one dodge. Didn't dodge that one, but tanked it pretty well, I would say. An attacks that goes up to 2.2 mil. It's okay. Oh, additional. There we go. Okay, so 2.2 mil times 2. Um, offensively, I would argue he's just okay. You know, like he's not a super um, weak unit by any means offensively. Oh my god. Yo, can we dodge some? Alright, so we got, what, one dodge there? <laughs> and then we ate everything else. But, to be fair, he took those hits pretty, pretty decently. Okay, he took those hits pretty decently. For normals, we took less than uh, 10k. For the super, we took less than 100k. Um, obviously, we had the Golden Frieza on that turn, who is, you know, a much better tank. There's no real competition there, but I, I would say with no items, with no extra support from the rest of the units, uh, that was a good showcase. That was a good showcase. Now, offensively, like I said, he's not actually going to be that impressive. Just because, like, that's not what he's here for, right? Like, he's definitely a more, or very much defensively focused unit. And he's actually not even, like, objectively better than the end Janemba, who got his Extreme Z Awakening, like, three, two to three years ago. So that's why I think some people are not super high on this Janemba. I think that's why a lot of people are kind of pissed, actually, by his design. Because usually, when we get two, you know, versions of the same character, you know, one EZ after another, the newest EZ is just a straight up improvement, right? He just straight up replaces the previous one. But it's not quite the case here, right? The Int Janemba is still super, super relevant. He's still super, super useful. And um, I would say it's just like a different um, type of Janemba, you know, compared to the Int one. The Int Janemba is better offensively, Whereas the STR Janemba, I think, is better defensively because he's going to be giving you more dodges on a regular basis. I know that first turn wasn't, like, you know, the best example of that, but because he gets more dodge chance with each dodge, right, 30%, then 40%, then 50%, whereas the uh, Int Janemba only gets the 30%, this guy's going to be dodging a lot more. Oh, we got the uh, Big Bad Bosses here, by the way. Big Bad Bosses attack up to 3.2 mil, and uh, Tien is dead. So yeah, as you can see, his damage can be pretty good. Um, obviously, if you have him like fully maxed out with the Lynx, he has level 10 big bad bosses, then he's going to be getting over 3 mil on the first turn with no supports. But we don't have that here. That's okay, though. I am going to... 
I think I'm gonna pop an item here just to be super safe because uh, I don't really trust the STR cooler mainly uh, or Ashley the, the final form Frieza so this should be okay now we're gonna go for 18 and then we're gonna go for 17 with him and ooh, let's save some type type orbs actually oh my phone's dying it's cool we should have enough battery for the rest of the showcase uh, we're gonna save some type orbs here for the uh, Janemba the detect Janemba next turn so yeah this should be okay but as I was saying, yeah, um, the two Janembas have different uses, so even though, you know, the STR Janemba does have some things over the old Janemba, he also is lacking in the offensive department. The Int Janemba is definitely better offensively, and uh, I don't think that's a bad thing, even though it's kind of weird based on just like what we're used to. I think it's fine. I'm okay with it, but some people might have a problem with that. But uh, yo, if you're struggling with like, you know, Super Battle Road, Extreme, Super Battle Road, LGE, stuff like that. Just give this guy a shot. I think he will help you a lot um, from the dodging, you know, aspect of things. Well, that guy took a lot of damage. Holy crap. Oh, we have to be facing Goku's family. I forgot about that. I was like, shouldn't he be getting, like, a lot of damage reduction? But no, he only gets the damage reduction against Goku's family. There you go. That makes sense. All right, so now we got the double Janemba rotation here um the question is are we gonna be able to get those type orbs i'm not so sure man i don't think we can actually oh that sucks uh let me think what we should do then let's go for 17 let's uh hmm we might not be able to get a super off this turn that's really unfortunate yo this is why this is why I don't like the new Tech Janemba. I know I've said this before. I know I've ranted about this before. But it just sucks, man. We get these situations where you're just straight up not able to get a super. And he hurts the other Janemba too. Because now the STR Janemba can't get a super either. Um, it just sucks. Okay, uh, let me see what to do here though. If we... Okay, hold on actually. Let, 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 me, let me play this... Let me play it like this. Okay, so we're going to give these to the STR Janemba. We're going to give this to the STR Cooler. Oh, I thought the Int Orbs would drop differently. That sucks, man. Okay, that, that is a wasted rotation. Hopefully, we still get some nice tanking. There we go. 81. Okay, a dodge there. 68. Solid. Really, really good tanking there. I think the attack we, uh, I think the attack that we dodged was the uh, 18, because I think 18 would have done a little bit more damage. But um, yeah, that's good. So far, so good. All right. So even though we didn't get a super off that turn, we were able to see some very good tanking. And as you can see, yeah, the Tech Janemba also tanks really well. I've never said that Tech Janemba was like a bad tank at all he's a very very good tank he's been extremely impressive as a tank it's just um you know like there's other aspects of him that just really annoy me man like i just hate his design with like the lack of key links with no key either unless you get four type orbs if you're doing an event like this like you can't always get four type orbs you can't afford to bring an orb changer you can't afford to bring you know orb changing items so sometimes you're just screwed. You're just stuck with like one of those trash rotations like the one we just got. But hey, I'm glad we actually got to see some tanking still. So I guess it's fine. I guess it's fine. I'm going to stop talking about Tech Janemba because I feel like people think I hate him. People think I like think he's a trash unit. And if you watched my video yesterday, I, I said I think he's good. He's got a lot going for him. He just got, he just got some issues that other Dokkan Fest units don't have to deal with that uh, make him less than ideal, if you will. Uh, but yeah, that's enough about him. <laughs> Rant over. I'm, I'm good. I'm good. And uh, you know what? Let's, let, let's actually go for 18. I think we can probably take her out with even, with even a normal. Uh, no, no, you know what? You know what? Let's go for, let's go for 17 because if we get an additional, we can kill him for sure. No super once again, but... Uh, this is just one of those, like, you know, tricky 
rotations, I guess, where you just don't get the proper orbs. But uh, that's okay. Oh, got a dodge. Perfect. Normal does not kill him. Additional. No additional. Taking a super. Dodge it. No dodge. 50k. Okay, take a normal for 84. 91. Look at that tanking, man. That's beautiful. That is... Ooh. I meant to target... Uh-oh. Oh, man, I forgot to switch the target over to 18. Now, got the additional, so we should kill 18 either. Okay, we're going to kill... I was worried that if he didn't get the additional and then 18 supered our cooler, then that could have killed our cooler, man. Like, I remember that 18 hits extremely hard. I, I wasn't about to risk that. But it worked out. It worked out. Crisis averted. Okay. Uh, ooh, this is kind of tricky. This is kind of tricky. Uh, I'm going to do this for sure. Because, uh... This Gohan is really hard. I'm actually going to pop a Go... Not a Go Sasher, a Senzu Bean. Just to ensure that we survive this turn. And, uh... Yeah, from there we should be okay. Okay, so I'm going to give these to him. We got the support here, finally, from the Tech Janemba. Yeah, I don't I don't think the Tech Janemba and the Esther Janemba is actually a good rotation for Super Battle Road. Because, like, if you have them together, and you don't get the Type Key Spheres then you're going to have trouble getting supers off for both of them, obviously without support, right? So um, that is something to consider for sure. If you guys are, you know, thinking of running the double Janemba, I don't know. I don't know. I, I just don't don't love the lack of key link. That, that's the main thing. That's the main thing. Like, if, if he had support on his passive without condition, like, even just key plus two, like, forget about the attack and defense plus 30%, just key plus two. That'd be fine, right? He'd be a much better unit, but I'm getting, I'm getting on the, I'm getting on the rant again, man. I gotta stop. I gotta stop. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop. We're good. <laughs> We're good. Okay, so no items here. We're not gonna have to use another item, I think, for the rest of the, uh, of the event here. And let's see how many dodges we can get here. We haven't seen a lot. Okay, that's one. Okay, no dodge there. One fifteen. No dodge there. Sixty seven. Got a super for 20, uh, 2.7 million rather. Um, pretty good. 1.8 crit, dodge, dodge. Okay, no dodge there. Not bad, man. That was what, like half dodges? Half the attacks were dodges, the other half were normals. That did very, very little damage. So yeah, that, uh, that guard really come into play here. So like I said, I do think he's did I say this already? I don't know. I've said a lot in this video. I'm kind of forgetting what I said before, but if I didn't say it, yeah, I do think he's better defensively than the Int Janemba. Offensively, I think there's no question that the... I'm going to use a Ghost Dasher here. Um, I, have to, I think there's no question that the uh, STR or Int Janemba is better. Or wait, wait, what? I'm getting confused. What did I say before? <laughs> Yeah, defensively, the STR Janemba is better. Offensively, the Int Janemba is better. So it all depends on uh, what you want. You know, if you're on an event where, like, it's not as crucial to get the dodges, then just go for more damage. Go with the Int Janemba. So, like, we kind of have, like, an offensive and defensive Janemba. Go with the one you like. Either way, I think I like both of them better than the Tech Janemba. <laughs> if I'm just being honest, man, look, still a good unit. Let me just be clear about that still has its uses okay not horrible but i don't know they, they could have done it more justice man i keep going back to the tech Janemba. i can't help it <laughs> like he's on the team i shouldn't have brought him that's the, that's the main thing i should not have brought the tech Janemba on this video then i wouldn't have to think about him i wouldn't have to talk about him i could just focus on the str Janemba. but now that he's here i, I kind of like have to talk about him um, anyways, anyways, this is going to be it. Yeah, this is going to be the final, uh, rotation. At least it should be. It should be the final rotation. I'm going to give those to him. Um, I kind of feel iffy about having STR cooler there, but I think the Gohan is sealed. Uh, yeah, he's sealed, so, so we're fine. We're fine. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Give me some... Dodge is here, or or not? Oh, that's one. Okay, perfect. 
All right, he's not dodging as consistently as I would have hoped, <laughs> but uh, he's dodged enough. He's dodged enough, and and I guess a good thing that for you guys to see is that even though he doesn't always get the dodge, his tanking does make up for it. So you don't have to worry too much if he doesn't, you know, get that like 30, 40, 50 percent or whatever to proc. Uh, this should do it, guys. There's your showcase. Gohan's dead. I hope. Oh, he's still alive. Wow. Okay, he's about to be dead. He's about to be dead. Point is, the showcase is going to end there. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about the STR Janemba. Don't talk about Tech Janemba. Okay, I've, I've done, you know, more than enough of that in this non-Tech Janemba showcase video. And uh, yeah, hopefully this changed some people's minds. I think he's going to help you a lot if you have been struggling in some of these events. Uh, give him a shot. I think you will be quite impressed. And uh, yeah, that's today's video, man. STR Janemba's Extreme Z Awakening. I would say he's good for sure. I don't, I don't put him in my top like five easy A's by any means. I do think there's a lot of easy A's that are still more impressive than him. That are, you know, I like like a like Golden Frieza for example. I think I like the uh, Golden Frieza better because their damage is kind of comparable. You know, kind of comparable. The STR uh, STR Janemba does hit harder, but his defense. It's much more consistent when he has that, you know, 80% uh, damage reduction on. He's basically untouchable. So, uh, yeah, I, I like the Golden Frieza better. But with all that said, yo, STR Janemba EZA, put a little bit of respect on his name. And that's it, guys. <laughs> that is the video. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And... If it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button. To join the Tiger Squad now, and while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger, with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.